Yeah, buddy. We're back at camp. We're back at camp. October 27th, hunting for the next 10 days. So, hopefully we get some. Hopefully a bunch of us get deer. Best part is, I'm using that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. First year hunting for me in like 22 years, and I'm, I get to use that. That's pretty cool. I'm excited to be here. It's, as my sister would say, it's like being, it's like being a kid Christmas Eve going to bed to wake up to a Christmas tree of gifts. I kind of agree with that. It's just interesting that as an adult, a lot of men and a lot of women too, look forward to this time of year. I am one of those people. I haven't hunted for like over 20 years and I'm excited, I'm happy. I don't really see a whole lot today. I just had a squirrel messing with me for a while where I was thinking it might've been a deer, but it wasn't, it was a squirrel. When we go world of hunting again, I remember that stuff. <laughs> That's so funny. Where it is November 1st in the evening. Uh, we didn't go hunting this morning. We woke up to a snow covered ground, not that it kept us away. I just think we all wanted some sleep. But uh, here we are now in the evening and we like to catch a buck. That's what I really want to try to catch a buck. We're at the stand. My sister killed a deer out of the book on Saturday. One forty-eight p.m. today on November 3rd, I uh, shot a doe. There's no one here at camp right now. But yeah, I'm excited <laughs> because I got a deer. Ran through the woods and then just like, there was like a rustling sound and then it, like it just stopped. So hopefully it's not too far off the trail. The blood trail, I already took a peek at it. It's pretty big. It's not, it's not as big as my sister's was the other day, but this was also a solid hit at like, it was only at like not even 20 yards and I hit it square and you could hear the thud when it hit and I saw it jump and then I saw it in the scope take off and I looked up and I knew exactly where it went. Crossbow bolt is just soaked in blood. First deer in 23 or 24 years or something like that, but the first time I hunted in like 22. So I'm grateful for the meat it just provided me. Maybe you can't tell, but I'm very excited. <laughs> like, so where did she go? She went right there. Like you can see the blood right there and then she runs up that way. Yeah, she just spray right there. She went up this way. There's blood on there. Oh, yeah. Good. Definitely ain't clotting on this one. There she is. There she is. I guided the deer. Basically, I'm waiting for the uh, older fellows to get back at camp so they can tell me what I did wrong and what I could do better. And that was the first time I ever had to gut one. I've only ever killed two deer when I was hunting when I was a kid. And that was the last deer I killed was in, like, I think, 1999. My last hunt was in 2001. So it's been 22 years. I think this is awesome because I, I, I got, I put meat in my freezer. And I think a lot of people don't understand that when you do this, that that's the whole point. Like you feel sad you had to kill a majestic animal, but at the same time, we're at the top of the food chain and we need to supply food for ourselves. I'm just excited because I, I was able to put down an animal humanely because it didn't go that far. It went about, it probably went about 65 or 70 yards before it stopped. I'm looking forward to how this is gonna taste when I eat it, cause this is like the first deer I killed many years. So it has a little bit of a personal thing to me. And I love, always loved venison. 